hi again. Um, reporting to you from the comfort of my bedroom here in, in northwest London. Um, I think in this vlog I'm going to talk about the idea that there's nowhere I'd rather be. Um, and it's something which first happened to me when I was in India. And I decided not to go home and go back to university and to stay there. And a couple of painful, well, I was going to say bad, but more objectively as painful things happened to me. Um, I fell off a motorbike and I had like probably some sort of deli belly at some point and some other stuff. I can't really remember now exactly what, but I just remember repeating to myself, like, there's no place I'd rather be. And I'm having that again right now. And I, I, I haven't had it in a while. Like since I've been home, it's been kind of, it's come and gone and I felt it when I'm energized, but when I'm feeling tired, it's much harder to feel that here. Um, but I do feel it right now because if I can feel comfortable to be myself in my own home, and I have all of the like resources available to me here to um, to survive without having to do much decision making really. Um, I don't have to think about food or washing or things like that, even though those are things that like I am capable of doing um, when I have energy. I I appreciate not having to, and I fear the times when. I have been depressed in the past and haven't been able to do them. Um, that repeating down the line, basically, um, which basically makes it more important for me to find a place to live where I don't feel depressed. And to make the point that when I say there's no place I'd rather be, I can see that right now I'm somewhere. So I'm in my bedroom at my mum's house. And I'm grateful for the comfort of the fact that it's not cold, it's not hot, there's not mosquitoes nibbling at my feet. Um, I have access to fresh water um, and clean clothes and company. So that's like amazing. Um, and a hot bath, so nice. Um, but more importantly, I think is recognizing that the space that I'm in right now in a way is also nowhere because um, I feel like I am kind of walking on this somewhat parallel dimension a bit right now. Um, and I'm tapped into that place, which isn't really anywhere in particular. And this feeling that I have, I could have anywhere in the world. And it's not really derivative of anything around me. It's just a feeling that where you is, is where it's at. And you can't, be that with a there's a baseball bat over there but I can't be asked to get it um and when I feel like this I think the depressive energy cannot touch me um but I'm not going to uh I watched a video last night which said that the ego is very strong so if you say I will get depressed again then it, it will know that but I used to get depressed um is what you're meant to say let's see what happens but um and if it does ever happen to me again that I do feel low energy and unable to do things um, that that I, I'll be interested to see how the vlogging style changes then and from that place and the kind of things that I say. Um, and um, so I don't know exactly, sorry, I don't remember how this vlog, vlog started, but I know that I was talking about like where I am and being here in this space right now. Um, and um, yeah, I really don't remember where this vlog started. Um, honestly, I haven't got a clue. All I, all I know is I remember saying that I, um, when I first got to India, I, yeah, was like saying that there was nowhere I'd rather be and I feel like I've come back there right now. Um, and that's nice. And no idea. 
no idea. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that vlog there. I can't even do an I can do an introduction and say that this is a mystery vlog because I don't remember. But there you go. Peace.